This is the feature I'm scared of the most today. Yeah, look how narrow it is. Okay, today is gonna be super intense. I'm gonna meet my buddy Steve Van Der Hoek and I'm gonna take him to a zone where he's never been before. There is a bunch of super crazy features. Me, I've walked there, I've checked out the features, but I've never ridden them. I think it's gonna be a challenge. I think some of them have never been ridden before and uh, yeah, it's gonna be crazy, but it rained a lot the last few days. Uh, so that's gonna make it even more challenging. And to be honest, I don't even know if we, if we can ride that. Uh, it's gonna be a bit of a test. Also, if you didn't know, I broke my scapula uh, six weeks ago. So this is gonna be my first proper ride. And uh, yeah, I'm super intimidating with, uh, with the weather. Steve was also injured. So I think that's gonna make some uh, interesting content today. So let's go meet Steve and uh, let's ride our bikes. Oh, hi, buddy. Yo, dude. How are you? Good, man. How are you? Good. Are you ready? Oh, yeah. It's gonna be a big day. Dude, my back is mangled. <laughs> What sort of superhuman healing methods did you use to gap or close a nine millimeter bone gap? The way it is, there is no stress on it. So there is no like stress on the fracture. Like in six I, weeks, that's insane. I thought you'd be off well, for no, like six not, months. On the X-ray, like they said, it's healing as expected. Not any faster or not any slower, right. just as expected. So I didn't feel like a superhuman. Does that answer your question? I felt, yeah, I felt like a very normal dude. Yeah. Mine actually healed pretty quick too, but it was like my my ligament actually ripped off, yeah. like bone off of my wrist. So have you tested anything like what we're gonna do nope. today? So this will be kind of the first like yeah, just mental yeah yeah more careful, but yeah, I find that takes longer getting back mentally than actually physically. Stoked, but scared. Well, I hope you're scared because <laughs> it's pretty naughty. Yeah, I've never seen this before. I've never even been here and it's wet, so it's gonna be a good introduction. I've seen the photos, so this looks spicy. Okay, Woo! here we are, buddy. So oh. no one has ridden that, so we don't even know if that's gonna work or not. I can see why, that's yeah, sketchy. Yeah. It's, uh, but don't worry, we're not gonna start with that. We're gonna warm up on top, and when we feel good, we're gonna come back and see if we can uh, ride that, because as you can see, I mean, it's gnarly. You don't want to fall on this side, so. That's wet too. Yeah. Not untouched, so. Yeah, I've done that. Let's go warm up. Later, maybe. <laughs> okay, first feature of the day. It's not the first feature of the trail, but we're gonna warm up with that Ooh. because the scary one is up there. Steve has not seen it yet, so. What that's all new to me. Uh, that is pretty, that's short, flat, and uh, small landing. It's pretty tall too. It's like eight, nine feet tall. Enough to hurt if you do it wrong. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. But uh, at least the takeoff is done in. So I like that better because you can see it, you can stand tall, you can adjust your speed, and then yeah. either you you pull or you squash depending on the, on how you feel. So yeah. Okay, stand tall, release and pop. Perfect. It's good. Yeah, it's actually more grip than I thought. What's a grip? Yeah. Nice. Not bad for a freshly injured rider. Not bad at all. No, it's actually much smoother than I thought. Oh, it's nice. Nice. Yeah, buddy. Not bad. That no, was good. Yeah, it felt good. Super smooth, super controlled. Yeah, the impact was pretty, pretty minimal. It's actually taller than I thought from the top. This is the feature I'm scared of the most today. I recently was told to have a better attitude, so I'll just have a, a more positive can-do attitude. And <laughs> Okay, attempt number two with the skinny. <laughs> yeah, the less time I spend on that skinny, the better. Oh, yes! <laughs> oh, what's this? Well, this is just like a roll that disappears into a drop. 
That's very off camber and slippery. It's really off camber and you can see how dark it is, which means it's gonna slide. So yeah, definitely gonna slide. My technique is gonna to come really slow, really slow, and then basically when I'm in, I'm gonna kind of be off the brake, so I'm less likely to slide. And there is a berm at the bottom, so you can yeah. really, really shut it down. <laughs> the skinny is the scariest part. It just like I went quite fast because I didn't touch my brake. You went way faster than I thought you would. Well, I didn't want to take a chance to slide on that off camber. Ah. So smooth. Woohoo, slappy. How's that fit? Actually so good. It's it's pretty big actually. Yeah. Like from the top it's like 20 feet and, and the drop itself, because you, you drop actually higher than the crack, right? Yeah, exactly. I it felt bigger, kinda reminded me of that uh, Hansa roll. You just yeah, pick up. it disappears. And it's really cool because not often you can ride stuff like that. And you get to get a little roosty in the S turns. That was a bit slick. That's gonna be a good warm up for the big features that we're gonna do at the end. Yeah. I mean, if we do it, because it's it's way, way gnarlier than this. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, nice. And check out this. All right. Pretty, pretty precision. Bar turn. Yeah, I need to do an X up. Yeah. If you want, I do it first because my bars are narrower. Yeah. <laughs> Trees look so close from each other. That was <laughs> so scary. Like, you know, it's just such a small drop. But it's like, how can you make such a small drop being that scary? All right, 800 mil bar test. Ah! <laughs> What a weird feature. That was good. Good job. <laughs> I was going so slow. That was weird. Okay, on to the next feature. It's a roll drop. Let's check it out. Yeah, maybe I should just go and watch that. Is it a gap? Okay. Okay, first attempt. Roll. It looks a bit flat. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit of an impact. Yeah. It's it's not too bad. Like, you can really see where the landing just. It's so flat. Yeah, that's not an airline jump. <laughs> Steve does not like flat landing. <laughs> Me neither, but. more impact than I expected. It's funny how this is so much smaller than the first drop, but the impact is so much bigger. That was a big impact. Yeah. It actually was. You're kind of taking the impact like down and then just up as it levels well, yeah, out. Yeah, the transition is alpha bike long. <laughs> but that's why it's cool as well. Because if it was like perfect yeah. and a super long transition, then I would not be any hard or any technical. The reason why this one is interesting is because things are difficult to ride. How are you going to hit this? Well, I'm going to set up properly on the berm, carry good speed. And because it's an off-camber takeoff, I'm going to sit on the higher side just in case I slide. Yeah. Or if I'm offline, I can correct. Whereas if I attack it on the lower side, I can't correct anymore, right? Because yeah. then I'm against the moss. If I'm on the higher side, it's easier for me to come down adjust than it is to go up to adjust. Right. So higher side, and aim like, yeah, basically for the landing. Ideally the landing. Ideally the landing, <laughs> no brakes, and then I'll control my speed after nice. the canoe. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I was actually, yeah, sometimes I just need to go with the flow and if I overthink, it just doesn't work for me, need to go and yeah, that was a good example where just went for it. That's too fast. There we go, that's 
it. That's scary. It's so, it's actually further out than you think. Okay, you follow me down that? Yeah, I'll follow And you. we go until the last picture of the trail, which is probably the most technical one. It's never been ridden by anyone, so. Right. It's gonna be a tough one. And it's, it's still wet. And it's still wet, yeah. <laughs> Funny, I actually missed uh, I missed one of those jumps that got tagged low, but that was sweet. <laughs> it's so fun. Okay, so behind us, that was the fun, easy part. Now you wander. <laughs> Let's get onto the proper yard. So that's like a super steep roll, and that's just gonna set you up for the new exit that you okay. saw from the bottom. Oh, I think it's sketchy. From the bottom, it looks sketchy. From the top, it looks like it's not doable. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so straight onto the middle. Yeah, so straight onto the middle. Nice. I thought that was going to be a bit more harsh. So that was nice though. That it went smooth. That's going to be so sketchy. <laughs> oh god. Watch out, it's Ooh. three. It's a grease shoot. So this is the easy part. So yeah, this is like the steepest part. And then you got like one bike length to set up. And then you go left, but you're super close on the tree. Well, my plan is to open the corner, jump, and ride that wall ride. Well, that's super gnarly. But I think but if you can do the wall ride, that's the safest solution. Yeah. I think this would be, if you can get on it, it's fine. If you have to go straight, I mean, it's a huge impact. Yeah. So I'm gonna try first, I think. Unless you want to go. You can go. Okay. <laughs> uh, but I'll ask you if you can be like somewhere here and basically when I come down, if I'm out of control, I'll tell you stop and you basically push me. And so I basically uh, crash right there instead of crashing 20 foot uh, lower. That makes sense. I get to save your life. Okay, first attempt ever. So I'm just testing out the grip. <laughs> well, I didn't have any other choice than to make it work because I didn't want to get uh, body checked by uh, Steve Van Der Hoek. <laughs> So good. Lots of front brake because you're less likely to, to fill up your tire using the front brake than the rear brake. And then when you come to a stop, you actually have to bunny up and eh, to, to just like aim for that wall ride. Okay, that was insane. Nice work, dude. I'm stuck. Woo! That is so scary. <laughs> I want to get your line. But I couldn't go as slow as you could. I got sucked down. You know why? Like, I know that compression works, but I don't feel 100%. I, I don't feel like my body can take yet an impact like that. I saw in your eyes the confidence. Like, I could tell when you were offline and had to go straight, yeah. I could tell in your eyes, you were like, yeah, okay, I got it. Yeah. Uh, Classic Steve. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just square up and get a strong position. And I really would like to try and get yours, but it's so slippery up there. I know. Like it's complete grease under my tires. I was just slipping. That's a long way back up there though. What do you think? Are you going again or? 
I'm going again, yeah, of course. Okay. I'm gonna, I, I really want to get that. Let me go next time first so that you have the worst slick mud. <laughs> What was that? You just like aim through it like <laughs> You're crazy. Oh I did not hit the right spot for that compression. <laughs> yeah you dropped a bit more. A that, was bit more so, that. that was so painful. You made me look like a you made me look like a beginner. <laughs> Dude. It's good. I was like, <laughs> I didn't get nearly as much as you did. Whatever you landed, we were supposed to. I, that was the worst compression I've had in like years. I, really I, I did bottom out on that, <laughs> which makes me think I need to adjust the bike for the next feature, which is the first one of that line. It gets scarier than this? I think it's scarier, yeah. Less technical, scarier. Okay. Okay, so original line is right there, rider's right. So you make an off camber, left hand corner, control the speed, drop down that last bit. And then this summer, Matt Bolton came in and opened that line from the very top. He's a local free rider from one up components. We're gonna be shooting a video together very soon. And uh, yeah, so it's basically, what is it like 35, 40 feet tall? Italy, it's very tall. It's basically vertical. So I think what's gonna happen is that we're gonna be able to control the speed a little bit on top. And then it's gonna feel like free fall. It's free falling. Oh, yeah. So, in the dry, I think it would be really scary and sketchy. But in the wet, I don't even know if we can do it. So, we're gonna warm up on the small line and then see how we feel and hopefully do it. But if I don't feel like I'm 100% confident, yeah, I think we'll, uh, we'll go back home and uh, come back when it's dry. Sounds good, buddy. What are you running for this? For this particular feature, because it's the first time and I just want to be safe, uh, I'm going as low as 15 PSI on the front, 17 on the back. Are you going to bump up any of your settings either? Like, are you going to bump your air pressure up or your compression settings yeah, for that? Like, that, that geode is steep to not steep. Yeah. So on geode. that shock, I'm going to add some preload. Uh, rebound doesn't really matter. So I'm going to add a little bit of preload, a tiny bit of air pressure, and I'm going to add some high speed compression mostly. Nice. I, I just want to be safe and this is part of the game of of mountain biking is just like knowing your settings knowing your material and you know being able to adapt so yeah. for me it's super important and that just gives me like a huge confidence boost knowing that i've done everything it takes to ride successfully i don't know i'd say that's pretty radical <laughs> emergency kit or scroll i think it'll be all the tracks on there let's let's watch this video i just watched this accelerate I think we can go slower than it did. Okay, let me do that. Okay, attempt number one. Well, wow, Steve, <laughs> That's you, you can go way slower than you think you can go. Really? Okay. Yeah, yeah, you got this. It's a little bit of a shoulder yank at the bottom. How was that? Good, but how did that feel in your scapula? Because that definitely uh, had a yank. I, I, I think I was so ready for it. I was just like... Yeah, you're I right felt, though. You know what? I felt like Mike Tyson going into the ring. I just... <laughs> go Pro 10, go Pro 10. Make sure you use the link in the description that support my channel. You ready, buddy? Let's do it, buddy. A little follow cam down this. Okay, drop in. Dude, so sick. That was good. You're riding so good, like so much steez. Thank you. Good. Such a fun day. There. That was freaking awesome. Well, that was an awesome day, guys. I had so much fun. I felt really good. We did some pretty scary features. I don't think the video 
does it justice but some really really exposed feature and yeah i'm super stoked as always thank you so much for subscribing and leave me a comment with what you thought i always take in consideration your feedback so i hope you enjoy this video a lot um, as always you can save some money you can support me at the same time by using the code and the link in the description and head over to my instagram at remy metaillet i'm currently doing a giveaway where i'm giving 10 gopro hero 10 so you'll see the post make sure you enter there's only a few days left i'll see you next week